Hello, uh, this little PCB is a fan controller or a fan tester, uh, you could say. Now it's designed for use with, well, interestingly, these connectors have a slightly offset uh, latch here. So I think it's designed for use with three wire fans and four wire fans. Of course, you only get the full functionality of this thing when you use four wire fans. So this is a four wire fan. Here are the four wires and uh, they are black ground. Red is um, sort of positive supply for the fan, generally 12 volts. Uh, this one does say 12 volts. Yellow is a tachometer signal. Now, as I understand it, it's open collector. So every revolution or maybe half revolution, I can't remember, it pulses low, um, pulls the yellow uh, pin low with an open collector or open drain uh, circuit. And then the fourth wire, blue, is pulse width modulation. And if I remember rightly, although I would have to check this, um, this is a five volt PWM signal which controls the speed of the fan. So let's take a look at this in a little more detail. Uh, there is a, well, there's a power input socket here, which says DC 10 to 60 volts. The lighting isn't ideal for this. In fact, it's not ideal to have this at the bottom. I think it would have been better if that were at the top. Now, 10 to 60 volts um, goes into this buck converter and is converted down to, well, I'm not entirely sure, but there is a five volt linear regulator there. So I assume this converts down to a bit more than that, maybe eight volts or something like that, but I don't know, I haven't tested the output. Um, this 10 to 60 volts is all very well because this buck converter can take that range of voltage, but you do have to be mindful that this input connector is wired straight to the uh, positive and ground pins on the fan connectors and therefore you really want to put a voltage on here which is the same as required by the fan so in this fan's case 12 volts putting 60 volts on here would blow up the fan so there's a microcontroller on here it uh, controls these uh, it controls the beeper output and these two ntc inputs um, which are thermistors it reads these buttons, it writes to these serial to parallel uh, latches, which controls this display and these four discrete LEDs. Um, so let's put some power to this and see what it does. A couple of short cables um, with uh, banana plugs on the end. I'm gonna put um, 12 volts into this from my desktop power supply which is a power bank um, and that should power up this uh, buck converter and power up the electronics we should see the display light up right let's switch it on and we get minus 9.9 .9 degrees celsius no rpm because the fan's not spinning uh, on fan one Ah, now I've put it into a uh, only show what's happening on fan one mode. If you want to change that, turn the power off, press and hold the OK button, turn the power on, and we can have two, or channel two or fan two uh, display parameters off or display parameters on. So we'll have display parameters on. So now we get fan one RPM, um, NTC2 temperature and fan2 RPM. Now the RPM is shown as three digits. You have to multiply it by 10 because it's a four digit number. Now I bought this little board because I wanted to test fans that are on my ant miners, my cryptocurrency miners. And uh, this one, as luck would have it, over the winter, stopped working so there was a flashing red light on one of the ant miners um, i looked at the control panel the user interface i could only see the rpm for one fan the other one wasn't showing and indeed one of the fans wasn't turning this is the fan it's a 12 volt 2.7 amp um hmm, not sure how many rpm it is oh it actually tells you what the four wires are there fg yellow feedback 
generator. I don't know what FG means, but let's plug this into the controller. And I know this doesn't work because um, I saw it wasn't working on the ant miner. So yes, that confirms that this fan is uh, not working. And so I replaced the fan and everything was good. Right, supplied with this board are these things. Uh, two thermistors, which you can put into NTC1 and NTC2, and also a buzzer, um, which you can plug into the beep output. But it's a bit strange because if I tap it and it beeps continuously, which is very annoying. So I don't think we'll bother with that. But if I plug in these thermistors, then we should see temperature measurements uh, for fans one and two. So for fan two, 20.1 degrees. Uh, that's the RPM, nothing coming back from the uh, fan, of course. And fan, one, uh, sorry, NTC one is uh, 20.1 degrees. Now these NTCs have nothing to do with the fans. They're completely separate, but they do control the fans in a sort of feedback loop. So I'll come to that in a moment. Right, press the OK button. And for fan one, these two lights coming on, it shows you the uh, minimum pulse width modulation percentage. So uh, the fan will simply run at 10% pulse width modulation. You can also control fan two's minimum and you can raise and lower the, well, you can't lower them because 10 is the minimum, but you can raise these all the way up to 100, I believe it is. Let's take it up there. Yeah, 100%. Now I don't want to do that with the fan not anchored down to something, but the fan will be fine at 10%. So let's set those to 10%. They're both set to 10%, I do believe. 10, 10. Yeah, so now we can plug this fan in. At 10% it shouldn't go too crazy. Although, um, well, let's just try it anyway. Okay, so there's the fan running at 10% uh, pulse width modulation. Now I can raise that. Um, I don't want to go too high, but if I press this and increase it. Oh, actually, I think you have to come back out before it implements that. I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, you might be able to see it from the strobing that that has increased in speed. Uh, let's go back, bring it back down again. And that slows back down. Now for the higher speeds, because these fans are quite powerful, they're kind of three amp uh, fans, I do believe. Uh, this board also says uh, don't use fans above three amps but that's probably only because of the track widths running from this input connector out to the fan connectors are designed for three amps and no more. Now, if you press and hold the OK key, you have lower um, temperature, that is, of 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, the next one is high temperature is 30 degrees Celsius for fan one. Uh, buzzer is on. I'm not using the buzzer because it's hideous. Uh, lower for fan two is 20 degrees Celsius and high is 30. Now what this means is whatever temperature is on the temperature sensor between 20 and 30 degrees C it will change the fan pulse width modulation percentage between the minimum value which is this 10% um, up to the maximum value of 100%. So you've got a kind of feedback control. And then if you put the temperature sensor in front of the fan, of course that will cool it back down and then that will bring down the speed of the fan. So let's play with that. But I'm going to anchor the fan down to, well, it's an old ant miner box. It's basically a bit of aluminium extrusion, just something to hold this in place. Okay, so I'm gonna screw the fan to the front of this aluminium box. You won't be able to see it all because it's rather large. Um, but it just means that the fan can't fly out of my hands. And of course, these things running at full speed, they'll take the tip of your finger off. They're very powerful. Right, let's plug the fan into 
channel one. Now the settings are um, 20 degrees will run the fan at its minimum speed, 30 degrees will run the fan at its maximum speed. So let's warm up thermistor one in my hand here. In fact what I'm going to do, you can hear the fan coming up I believe, I'm going to turn the 12 volts off and I'm going to do two off so that we only see channel one showing up on the display. So the temperature is 21.9. Let's warm it up some more. 22. And if I can get it to, now the RPM there is 4,670, 4,800. Trying to get this warm. It's not very warm in here today. My hands are not very warm. 5,000 RPM, 24 degrees C. Let's put it in the palm of my hand. Yeah, 5,400. 6,000 RPM. 27 degrees. 6,800 and 28 degrees, 7,000 RPM. Now if I put the thermistor in front of the fan, of course it will cool it down. I'll make sure you can see the display. So as that cools down, 25 degrees, 6,000 RPM, uh, 24.4 degrees, 5,200 90 rpm and so on and as that cools down uh, the fan speed drops down. Now there is another power on mode so I'll just turn it off with the 12 volts. If you press and hold the plus and minus buttons and switch it on you get F1. Oh, I pressed F1 that's not what I meant to do. Switch the 12 volts off press these two switch it on F1 I want to go to F2 if you do that it just seems to not do PWM so it just runs the fan is that the maximum speed I'm not sure it is actually is it because I think I've got it to over 7000 rpm but anyway it just seems to take away the pulse width modulation control so let's turn that back off press plus and minus. The um, instructions for this are completely illegible so I had to work half this stuff out for myself. <laughs> it's just gibberish English. Uh, turn it on, let's go back to F1. Okay that. And we're back to pulse width modulation control. Now you can change, if you do a long press, you can change this 20 to say 22 for example. And you can change the high setting of 30 to say 32. Uh, buzzer on, you can also have buzzer off, but I, I'm not using the buzzer. Um, and then the same settings for fan two, which I'm not using, buzzer on. And now of course the fan slowed down a bit because it won't actually lift off its minimum setting of 10% until I get this to 22 degrees. So let's do that. 22.3 and now the fan will start rising up in pulse width modulation percentage based on a temperature range between 22 degrees and 32 degrees so that's only 6000 rpm now with this warmed up in my hand. Let's cool it down with the fan and the RPM figure comes back down. So you decide, is this um, a fan controller or is it a fan tester? I mean, certainly it's been useful to test the fan on the ant miner that stopped working and I can test all my other fans to make sure that they are working. I mean, you could use this as a controller if you had, I don't know, some sort of process that generated heat using one of these fans to cool it and then using 
a thermistor as a feedback control um, element and this provides the feedback control loop so as the temperature of your system goes up this thing then increases the pulse width modulation to the fan and increases the fan RPM Five thousand RPM, twenty seven degrees, twenty eight degrees, six thousand RPM. Um, I will put links to this device um, on AliExpress in the description below this video. So if you're interested in getting hold of one of these, if you uh, work with these four wire server fans then you might want a facility to test them um, this can test two fans simultaneously i think there are single fan versions of this sort of thing um, but uh, i went for the two fan version but you can um, switch off the display for the second fan if we're only testing one fan so uh, it's pretty useful in that respect but that's it for this video so cheerio